Well, hello and welcome to another edition of the Stogie Review Video Review. I am Walt and I am back for another one of our quick little short ashes segments. And uh, if you haven't uh, seen one of these before, it's basically uh, a condensed review where uh, I go back and I smoke something I haven't smoked in quite some time or, uh, or haven't reviewed in quite some time. And uh, the idea is to to briefly go over it once again and see if the cigar is everything I remembered it being or if it's better or if it's worse, uh, you know, whatever the case may be. And uh, in this case, I'm doing the Oliva Serie G Maduro, which I always rave about uh, whenever we talk about budget level cigars or budget price cigars, simply because it's very affordable. Uh, of the G Maduro, this set just happens to be the most expensive, which is the Perfecto. and. Uh, it, it also just happens to be the only G Maduro that my local tobacconist carries. Uh, it, it's kind of funny if you look at uh, the trends in certain cigar shops. Uh, for instance, uh, the, the shop that I go to frequently uh, carries uh, just about every size of the G Cameroon and only one size of the G Maduro. Uh, you go a couple of miles south uh, to another cigar shop that I used to visit and he sells nothing but Maduro. and. He's, he's got like one size of the Cameroon, so it's interesting that you see different geographic areas that obviously do much better with with uh, specific cigars than others, but uh, as I said, this is a cigar that I haven't reviewed in some time, and uh, the original review was done back in January of 2007, and uh, well, it's about time to revisit the Oliva Serie G Maduro. So uh, if you're looking for more uh, descript uh, you know, brand information and whatnot, uh, check out the original review. Otherwise, uh, sit tight. I'll uh, get my cigar lit. I'll be back and uh, we'll see how the first third of the G Maduro goes. Well, welcome back. And as you can see, I've got my G Maduro lit and uh, you know, burning very well, actually. Uh, it's got a very light ash. Burn line's pretty even. Uh, resting smoke's light. Uh, the only complaint that I have so far is uh, is uh, the draw. It's it's a little stiff. And now uh, these perfectos seem to be that way from the start, just because of the tapered end. But uh, this one's a little stiffer than usual, so I'm hoping that uh, as I move back in the cigar, it'll open up and and, and just be uh, a little more pleasant. Right now, I really feel myself tugging on the cigar to get any kind of smoke volume out of it. Um, you know, when, when I do get a mouthful of smoke, it's nice and flavorful. It, it, it's got a, a medium-bodied smoke, just kind of lingers in the mouth a little bit, adds a little bit of texture. Uh, finish is smooth and creamy. And uh, I gotta tell you, this is uh, and this is one of the cigars that I've probably been smoking the for the longest period of time. Uh, a lot of cigars, I smoke them, I get tired of them, I move on. Uh, but the, the G Maduro is one that I've, I've smoked for quite some time. I just keep picking it up and uh, it always seems to impress me, or it always just seems to hit the spot, I should say. So, you know, all in all, I'm not really surprised that I'm really enjoying the cigar. Now, it's uh, sometime in the evening, and uh, it, it's, it just goes to show that the cigar really fits the bill. You know, it doesn't really matter what time of day. I really prefer them in the afternoon, but, you know, uh, at the end of a, a long day, if I haven't had a cigar, this is uh, one that I'll light up, simply because... Uh, it just works. You know, it's not mild enough that I can't taste it, but it's not too much that uh, it sort of washes everything out. So, so far, so good. So, uh, sit tight. I'll be back. We'll do a very brief uh, second, third, and you know, just keep on progressing with the cigar. Well, welcome back, and as you can see, I'm getting into the second third of my Oliva Serie G Maduro. And uh, i got to tell you, I'm enjoying it uh, just as much as I always have. I mean, uh, it's a, a very enjoyable cigar. Uh, the draw did loosen up uh, considerably, and uh, I'm getting plenty of smoke now, and uh, the flavors are fantastic, which is why I keep coming back to this cigar. Uh, I, I get nice... Uh, rich Maduro flavors from the, the Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper. Uh, nice coffee flavors, cocoa flavors, and all of this works really well with coffee. It's actually what I'm drinking with the cigar now. And uh, I love to pair it up with coffee because of the, the you know the natural flavors and natural sort of coffee-like flavors that, uh, that are going on in the cigar. 
uh, the construction properties uh, have always been good. I haven't run into much problems as far as uh, uh, wrapper flaws or uh, plugged cigars are concerned, or a tight draw and whatnot. Except with uh, with this single cigar, this was probably the tightest one I had ever, and uh, it loosened right up as soon as I got further down into that taper. Uh, body is medium. Uh, it, it's it, this is a cigar that I've had. Uh, several times in the morning and I've never considered it to be too full. Uh, it, I've never considered it, considered it to be too mild for the evening. It's sort of middle of the road. It, it just falls... Uh, it, it can... It, I don't know. It, it suits me well anytime during the day. And uh, and, and because of that, I, I, I find that I pick it up quite often. Uh, there's, uh, there's a number of cigars that I really enjoy. Uh, for instance, uh, the Camacho Corojo Maduro is one that... Uh, that I like to smoke quite a bit, but um, it's a little too full for me to smoke on an empty stomach, sort of like mid-afternoon. Uh, for instance, I leave work early on Friday, and uh, I go over to the cigar shop, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of limited as to what I pick up, being that I'm getting there at about 11 o'clock. I hadn't had lunch, and uh, you know, that that uh, Camacho Corojo Maduro is one that I'd, I'd love to smoke, but you know, it's just a little bit too full for that situation. This is where something like the, the G Maduro comes in, and I really enjoy it. So, uh, just to quickly sum it up, uh, good burning characteristics, uh, good construction, uh, nice flavor, burn rate's good, draws good. So, all in all, it's it's good. So sit tight, I'll be right back. We'll do the final third, wrap this, uh, this quick short ashes segment up and uh, let you be on your way. Well, welcome back. And uh, it's about time to wrap up my Oliva Siri G Maduro. And uh, you know, you probably see this coming a mile away, but uh, yeah, I really enjoy the cigar and I have for quite some time. My, my opinion of it has never changed. Uh, all in all, I think it's a cigar that really exceeds that four dollar price point. You know, I, I really feel that I'm, I'm absolutely getting my money's worth it with this cigar. And uh, there aren't a ton of cigars out there that I can say that about. Uh, the the G Maduro is absolutely one of them, however. Uh, the, the flavors are, are just are, are very nice and they suit themselves very well with, to be paired with coffee. You know, there's uh, nice coffee flavors in there, and, and this is, of course, you know, the flavors that I pick up you know, when I'm not drinking coffee. You know, there's some chocolate flavors in there. There's a really rich uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro flavor there. Uh, it's got a little bit of that Nicaraguan zing to it, especially when you pass the smoke through your sinuses. Uh, it, it's got a smooth, creamy finish, medium body. It, it never becomes too much. It's never too little. It's just, you know, it's right down the middle of the road. It's good any time of day I'm finding. In my experience, I smoke these things morning, noon, and night. And uh, the construction is always good on them. Now, the only downside with these uh, Perfectos is sometimes the draw seems to be a little snug on them. Now all of the this, yeah, all of the the, uh, the G Maduros are box pressed and I was looking at this just to make sure. This one's rounded out a little bit but you can still feel the, the, the square edges to it. And uh, because of that, they sometimes tend to be a little soft or uh, a little loose because from my understanding they're just a little underfilled so that they can be formed and shaped that way. So uh, traditionally, you know, the draw is free on them, but with this one with the tapered head and foot, you know, I think it, it causes a little bit of restriction and that's why I get uh, a draw that's a little snug on them. Um, all in all, you know, I'm, I'm just very happy with it. Uh, the burn line's good. It's thin, even, resting smoke is, is light, it's uh, it's not offensive. It doesn't seem to cling to me too much either. There are some cigars where uh, you smoke the cigar, you leave the room, go do something sociable or, or whatnot, and you know, you see that look on, on you know the person's face across from you, they, they smell that cigar all over you. Uh, with this cigar, it doesn't seem to stick to your clothes so much. It, uh, the, the aroma's lighter, I guess, is the best way to put it. And, uh, you know, it's that's about it. It's a, it's a condensed review, so I want to be you know as short as possible. All in all, I enjoyed the cigar. I think it's a great buy for about four bucks a piece. Uh, the Perfectos might be around five, maybe six, depending on your your cigar shop and your state taxes and whatnot. Uh, and uh, that's all there is to it. So uh, until I do uh, another regular review or another one of these short ashes segments, uh, happy smoking.